And next, I got Love and Monsters from 2020. So, here's my thoughts on that. I like the hand-drawn opening for this. Joel recapping what's going on in the last seven years. And how he misses his GF Amy. It's awesome stuff. I wonder what Mavis is like when working. Pretty amazing that all the rockets they fired at the asteroid mutated all the small creatures. in the big-ass ones. That killed the population. <laughs> Great shit. I do like that Amy got him Prismacolor color pencils, and he draws the bugs they encounter, too. I want to see an art book for this shit, because it looks so good, and I don't see an art book anywhere. Mad. Mm. And they keep in touch via ham radio, which is awesome. I mean, I love how he draws all them bugs. It's so cool. Sucks he freezes up when faced with danger. And it's cute to gave, she gave him Crocodile Carl at the beginning of the apocalypse. <clears throat> Joel's setting out to find Amy, and the advice they give him is hilarious. So funny. The overgrowth from the monsters and climate change is amazing. I remember wanting to see this when it came out, but missed it. Yeah, like I was going to watch it. Oh, uh, when the hell was that? It was three years ago. I just don't remember when. Because I was so excited. The trailer looked great. And the posters looked cool. Um, but yeah. Boy is a cute dog. And I love the bus too. Sand glo gob and gobblers look cool. Clyde and Minnow are neat. Although I have to say Minnow is kind of annoying. Like she fits in but not really. I don't know. All the different names for the creatures are fascinating. Boulder snails are cool. Surprise Clyde didn't use dirt to put out the fire. It's smarter and smothers the smoke. Huh. Oh, they parted ways from Clyde and Minnow. Ain't that a bitch. Holy shit, Joel killed the centipede. Nice. I think it was big as fuck. Wow. And Joel found a Mavis, and it's funny how he's being accused of food stealing. The stupidest gag ever. He's 9.3 miles from Jenner Beach. And he got to see a pic of his mom via Mavis and hug too. It was beautiful. Sky jellies are beautiful. Oh fuck, he found a Queen Sam Bogler and blew that bitch up with a grenade. <laughs> so cool. Uh, I like that he buried Mavis too. That was very endearing. It was the leeches poisoned him and it made him trip balls. <laughs> so cool. Uh, holy shit, Amy found him. Only he kissed Joel when he thought it was her. <laughs> Pretty colony she's at. I like the beach cove. That shit is nice. I would love to have a house there. God. And he traveled all the way to find out she's changed and lost someone last year she loved. Ain't that a motherfucker. Joel getting in touch with his colony was heavy. Yacht captain and his crew are food stealers. Surprise. The crab killed Cap and his crew after Joel freed it. Amy is a straight badass, too. Oh, yeah. He gave her back Crocodile Carl and his travel guide. Glad they finally kissed. It was nice. And he made it back to his colony, and they're heading to the mountains, as are the other bunkers. And I hope there's a sequel. But if you didn't like this movie, that's cool. If you did, it's awesome. I mean, it's nice flick. Ow, that hurts. Damn. I'm going to get that later. It's a good movie. But it definitely lacks a lot of shit. Nah. Uh, let's see here. It reminds me of the Monsters duology films. Monsters and then Monsters Dark Continent. I watched that last decade. I'd say it's a solid 7, 8 out of 10. It's good, intriguing. Would it be nice? <sighs> oh, fuck. To see the other creature's name, but I'm guessing this was meant to be an opener for a trilogy, maybe. And I know they've talked about a sequel, but who knows if that's ever going to get off the ground. I don't know. So, that's how I feel about these films. So, I'm going to get off here, upload these, and go play Destiny. Until next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.